Welcome back everyone. So today I am still in um, Cradle Mountain National Park. I'm going to be going and hiking Hanson's Peak today and I will be following it up pretty much halfway to the route that I did yesterday but then I'll be following it down to like Wombat Pool and um, to another spot as well. I'll actually show you on the map. So this is the route I'll be taking today. I'll be going up to Hanson's Peak and then I'll be following the face track around down back down to Marion's Lookout back down past Crater Lake to Wombat Pool and Lake Lilia and ending at Dove Lake. I'm not sure how long the walk actually is. <laughs> the, unfortunately in Tasmania they don't give you the um, kilometers they just kind of give you how many hours it's going to take so I think it's going to take me probably oh, I'm going to say about four to five hours I'm going to give myself I'm catching the shuttle bus in today so shuttle bus into Double Lake and then shuttle bus back so I'll show you that it's pretty easy you just go to the visitor center and if you've got a park pass you just go and they'll give you a little ticket like this which is your shuttle bus and you just show that to the guy that's um running the shuttle bus or the people who are running the shuttle bus and um yeah you just get on and they run every 10 to 15 minutes so if you miss one you don't have to worry about waiting too long and they've got bus stops everywhere once you have arrived via shuttle bus to the dove lake car park simply follow the trail that leads towards the dove lake circuit once you get here follow the circuit towards the left until you reach the sign which points up to the hansons peak trail now this trail is quite steep and it does have a bit of uneven footing so i do recommend that you have some sort of physical fitness because some people i talked to have found this really hard and others have found it quite easy. Along the trail you will get some magnificent views over the National Park towards Cradle Mountain and over Dove Lake. This is by far one of the best hikes that I have done and I do recommend you have this on your list when you go to the National Park. Alright so just coming up to Hanson's Peak now which is that one, no, no, yeah that one behind me. So far the track has been very easy. And again, don't know if that's just because I'm used to hiking, but absolutely beautiful views. That's Twisted Lake down there, which is another one hour detour you can do. Um, not doing that today. Might do it tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. Um, you just get such better views of Dove Lake and the surroundings than you actually draw on Cradle Mountain. So far, this is definitely worthwhile doing more for views than Cradle Mountain, I would say. And it's a lot easier. Um, there is a section coming up which requires you to like lift yourself up with chains, but I'm not expecting it to be hard at all. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, let's go on. Some of that. This is definitely the hardest part of the trail, which I'm about to show you now. It does require climbing up quite a lot of steps, and they are very steep. The section before was steep, but this is a lot steeper. There is also a section where you are going to have to use this metal chain you are seeing now in order to get yourself up. It's very similar to what I showed you in the Cradle Mountain Summit Trail, but this one is a little bit longer and a little bit more steep, but it's well worth it when you get to the top of Hanson Peak and get these incredible views. So this is Hanson's Peak, took me only 45 minutes to an hour to get here from Dove Lake, it's gorgeous. Definitely gives better views than um, Mountain Summit I, I think, in my opinion anyway. There's only one section which is kind of like steep, but there's a chain for you to hold yourself up and pull yourself up, but other than that it's really not that hard of a track. <laughs> um, just deciding what I want to do now because I can either walk up the face track do the route I was going to do or there's a hut that someone just recommended that I walk to and then I walk around Cradle Mountain but that's going to add on an extra four hours to my trip so just gonna have a little think and see and decide what I want to do. 
I ended up deciding not to add on the extra four hours to my hike today so I did take the face track back which was my original plan. Now the face track is fairly flat, there are a couple sections which are really steep and that is when you get more towards Cradle Mountain. There's probably about two or three areas which I wasn't expecting to be as steep as they were but it was actually a little bit of a struggle especially because the sun was coming out and it was getting quite hot. When you're walking through this section, just be careful because it is a rock fall area, so try and move as quickly as possible. Don't sit under the rocks and just, you know, be smart about it. You do get to walk past Cradle Mountain like you can see now, which is great. It gives incredible views. You will also go past Marion's Lookout again, which is what you're seeing right now. I did go past this when I went up to Cradle Mountain Summit, so I didn't spend too long here and just decided to make my way down. Once you get down from Hanson's Peak, the trail is quite easy. It's pretty much all flat or you're just descending down some steps. Wombat Pool was quite pretty to walk past, but it wasn't my favorite thing in the National Park. There was a lot of echidnas though, so that was quite nice. I then just made my way down via the Dove Lake Circuit to the Dove Lake Car Park and caught the first shuttle bus back to my car. They have a little cafe at the visitor center. So I got a chicken burger and chips. Um, cost me $16. Just not actually too bad for prices in national parks. Chips are good. Burger looks very basic, but I'm fucking hungry so it'll do. Now I'm going to go back to accommodation, check into my cabin, just chill for the rest of the day. We'll see. lake absolutely gorgeous to the boat shed to take some shots for my Instagram I'm in a dress and a puffer jacket because it is freezing cold um, I walked here from Ronnie Creek um, at about 4 30 in the morning because <laughs> sunrise is at 5 30 and I really just wanted to capture the glow of um, Cradle Mountain with the boat shed and get the mist. So I got the photos, I'm very happy. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that reflection. I'm not gonna do the circuit, which is about a six kilometer return, just because I've pretty much seen everything from above doing all the other hikes I've done. So I'm just going to <laughs> wait for the shuttle bus probably and um, yeah, um, get back that way. Cause I got a couple other spots I want to um, shoot at. But definitely come here in the morning, early in the morning if you can, because it's just gorgeous. And if it's a clear day like you, I've got, you get the glass effect, which you can see. It is very cold though, <laughs> and there's no one here, which is even better. That is going to conclude this video, guys. Like always, if you like my videos, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one.